So Illyria Windrunner, Sylvanas' sister that was a BlizzCon meme along with Turalyon for many years, until she made her return in the World of Warcraft Legion expansion. If you want to fill the gap before Legion, I highly suggest you check out the Thousand Years of War audio drama on the World of Warcraft YouTube channel. Illyria was taken prisoner by the Naru Zera at the end of this, and this is where we get into her return in Legion. As far as we know, Illyria was held prisoner by Zera for all this time, which is pretty damn terrifying if you think about it. The Naru, to me, are almost scarier than the old gods, but I'm very curious to see where Blizzard develops them. During the campaign on Argus, you find out that Illyria wields the power of the Void. There's also a very interesting character named Locust Walker that you meet, and he essentially tells Illyria that as long as you don't succumb to the whispers of the Void, you'll be able to harness its power for your own use. The two actually go off at one point to train and you don't really know what happens, but I know they're going to bring this fellow back into the storyline as soon as we have a Void-related expansion. After the events of the Legion storyline, Illyria and Turalyon return to Stormwind in the Valley of Heroes. Illyria is planning to visit her homeland Quel'Thalas, but she does speak to Turalyon that she's very nervous about this, rightfully so. A very interesting development does happen when Illyria returns to Quel'Thalas. She meets with her two sisters, Sylvanas Windrunner, wouldn't be a Box and Jackalope video if I didn't mention Sylvanas Windrunner, and Verisa Windrunner. The Windrunner sisters, after all these years, finally reunite. And let's just say it was quite the reunion. The main thing that I took away from this reunion was the fact that the Void wanted Illyria to end Sylvanas. It sends death as a threat, and I think this has huge implications for the future storyline, but we're going to talk about that later on in the video. Illyria returns to Silvermoon City after all these years as well during her trip to Quel'Thalas, but she's not really met with open arms. She tries to convince Lorthamar to rejoin the alliance with the Blood Elves, and Lorthamar's very dismissive of this. He's been with the Horde long enough to not betray them like that. But this isn't the end of Illyria on Quel'Thalas. Illyria hears of a group of Blood Elves that have been exiled from Silvermoon for using Void Magic. So naturally she goes back up there and recruits them into the Alliance and trains them how to control their Void Energy, similar to how she does. I think this is really cool. Some people consider it fan fiction, but I actually think it's a unique twist and at least it gives the Alliance the Blood Elf model. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Come the heck on, Blizzard. This is worse than the Alliance and Horde Pandar, and when are you going to give them High Elf skins? This is just a give me. This would have made a lot of players happy, even though I, myself, I don't enjoy playing Elves too much. Aside from that, throughout Battle for Azeroth, Illyria Windrunner really hasn't had much storyline. Outside of her ambush with Gelbin Mechatork during the invasion on Undercity at the beginning of the expansion, and just chilling on the Alliance boat in Borealis. Rant about Void Elves aside, though, there's a lot of ways that Blizzard could take Illyria Windrunner's character. So one thing that I had a question about is, what is exactly whispering to Illyria and the other Void Elves, or people that use Void Energy? Obviously no, we know they're Void Lords, and we know the Warlocks have the Void Minions, but what exactly does like a uh, big, big, big Void Lord look like? Because that's the big enemy right now in World of Warcraft, is the Void Lords. So I'm really curious to see what their factions are going to consist of, what they're going to look like, and are they going to have more of that Lovecraft lore similar to the Old Gods? One of our viewers, Alex Harris, mentioned on the stream the other day that he thinks it would be pretty interesting if Illyria and Sylvanas teamed up at some point. That would be pretty cool, Void and Death working together, but I'm actually kind of curious to see how Blizzard would pull something like that off, considering the both of them want each other dead. And not just for faction reasons. Like I said earlier in the video, it's pretty interesting how the Void whispers to Illyria to kill Sylvanas when they met up, and quite dark to tell you the truth. And this wasn't just for faction reasons, this was the Void whispering to Illyria to do it, because she sees Death as a threat to them. So I think the reason that death counters the void is because they can't succumb to those whispers. No matter what the old gods will try to do to undead, they can't control them, and I think that's something that they might even explore with Arthas' storyline if you went back that far. Ice Crown Citadel was built out of Serenite, a substance that is known to drive people mad that was made from yogg Saron's blood. I think this was teased even as early as back then. What do you guys think about Illyria Windrunner? Do you like how Blizzard's handled her character, or do you like Sylvanas and Verisa better? I'd love to hear in the comments below. If you guys have a certain character you'd like me to take a look at in the future, please let me know. I've already decided on the next one. Next week I'm going to do King Rastakhan, but if there is a character you would like me to cover, please let me know in the comments. Anyway guys, thank you so much for your continued support, and we'll see you next time. <laughs> Hello once again, loyal viewers. Say what you will about Illyria Windrunner, I've got some deep, dirty secrets on her, you know, me being her sister and all. What you don't know is back when we were one big happy family, I saw her on a winter feast celebration pick a handful of those crisp onions off the casserole and eat it right out of the bowl while no one was looking. 
Well, I was looking, Illyria. I was looking, and I remember. And now everyone else does. Anyways, thank you for watching another incredible video by Box and Jackalope. How rude, sister.